Hello. Today, we're going to be teaching you homiletics. Homiletics is about how to build your sermon. Number one, the first thing you should do when you start a sermon is preparation. Without preparation, you're kind of going at a lost cause because two things are going to happen. You're going to be wasting the congregation's time or you're going to be wasting your time. Either or, when you focus and hone in on your preparation, it'll show at the end of the day when you preach how much study you have done and it'll impact them based off that difference. So do what you can and as best as you can to prepare before you speak. Number two, as Jesus came into the world as the Word, He imparted the Word to man. So it is our responsibility now to become one with the Word because there's going to be a difference when one preaches. When we embody the Word, we're going to breathe life out and people are going to be able to resonate and say, wow, this person knows God. Otherwise, they're going to be able to spot you and just kind of say, wow, you know, it's not really resonating with me. I don't feel the life-giving power and authority. So, embody the word. Let it become a part of you. Number three, we're here not to babble off on a bunch of cool facts about God, but we are here to give a message for the people because they are there to hear from God and not your opinion. We're preaching to change hearts to become the image of Christ. Number four, with all of our knowledge, it is imperative that we keep it simple because most of the people that you're preaching to are not highly educated like you are. So it's going to be a key component that you do your best to minimize words that are just over people's heads and give them the truth in its simplest form. Number five, we know what the Bible says. Heck, we know it's history. But if we are to engage with the non-believers or just even the believers who have dwindled through their Bible here and there, we have to be able to communicate to them at a language they understand. They're not gonna get the culture that was back in the day. So we have to make it relevant to what is happening today because the Bible is still relevant today. Let's do our best to communicate and stay relevant with the times and the people we are speaking to. Number six, I know it's great to have a bunch of points, but quite honestly, People get lost and they do not remember the points at all. That's just our human nature. Heck, I even do it. So, the way to do this is to keep it simple. Because in all actuality, that's what the gospel is. Simple. Number seven. This point is basically giving the sermon in a way that people can relate. And I'll tell you, your story is the most powerful, but here's another one. Using stories is powerful. And you know what else? People remember stories. So do whatever you can to use stories because they'll remember a story, but they will not remember a bunch of facts. That's just the way it is. So do your best to try to create a good narrative that builds to the pointing your hearers to the cross. And number eight, your stories or your points or your entire sermon should be based on this one principle and all the arrows point to Jesus. Without this, there's no point. Jesus is the author and finisher, the alpha and the omega. He's the point. He's the only point. So, we must try our best effectively to do what it takes to show people 
that Jesus is in their situation politically, culturally, by themselves, wherever that they are in life, that Jesus is in all areas of these lives, in every area of their situation leads to Jesus. So, quick summary over what we just discussed. Preparation is everything. As Jesus embodied the word, we must embody the word. Preach to change hearts. No fancy words. Engage the culture and its relevance to today. Please don't have too many points. People remember stories. And lastly, build your whole sermon about Jesus.